<sighs> Jeremy! It's me, man, in an American truck, a Ford. 450 stallions underneath that hood. You ready? Is that, is that yours? Uh -huh. No, it's not. I actually drive a Prius. I borrowed this, but uh, you ready to go? Yeah, man. Put the bike in. Let's hit it. Get in the other side. It's Come not on. bad, man. It's Come not bad. On. Buckle up. A few months back, I flew over to GCN's HQ and I went for a bike ride in their backyard, a little known corner of the UK called Exmoor, to sample some of the most English bike riding ever. And I actually have to say, it was one of my top five rides I've ever done. Now, however, I get to return the favor. Size over on this side of the Atlantic and I'm gonna take him on a ride in my home state of Massachusetts, about 20 minutes drive of where I call home. Now, as fantastic as the Exmoor ride was, it was basically a mountain bike ride on gravel bikes. So, I'm excited to show you what an American gravel ride is all about, starting and finishing in the historic city of Greenfield, Massachusetts. Check out the link in the description for today's route on GCN's Commute profile. Chocolate frosted, please. And a maple frosted, please. Uh, and then a vanilla frosted, please. Oh, and a, uh, a Boston cream as well, please. Boston cream is like a local delicacy, apparently. Six donuts and one for the road. I don't know where he is. He said, I told him, meet me in the green. I don't know. That's, uh, I'm Jeremy. here. Jeremy. Jeremy. Mate, I got, I got the stuff. The, what the, uh, the donuts. Heck are you, dude? I was joking about ducking. <laughs> what? Have, no, dude. I went to the nice coffee shop here on the corner, Greenfield Coffee. I got a, I got a delicious, organic, locally sourced almond milk cappuccino. Oh, I didn't think you guys had that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> that one's a Boston one. <laughs> okay, yeah, that so was. So I thought that was like a local. Well, that was, yeah, that was a joke that I told you to do. I said get the Boston cream. Okay. Okay, we'll share, man. That's cool. All right. So here we are in Greenfield, Massachusetts, founded in 1686. Well, that's a few hundred or thousand years after your hometown of Bath. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter, mate. Yeah, it's, it's still nice. I feel like it's a little newer here. Yeah, 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 it is a little bit. Yeah. I'm excited to take you on today's ride, man. We're going to be going north, which is this direction. We're going to be going through Leiden, Massachusetts, down to the most southern tip of Vermont, all along the Green River. Beautiful dirt roads, some super steep climbs. Yeah, how steep are we talking? Like, really steep. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to be hurting, and you're you're gonna be doing really well with your double. I'm a little jealous, I won't lie. That's what I like to hear, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna hit lunch in Shelburne Falls, do the Bridge of Flowers, basically come back down, stop, finally finish up here in Greenfield. We're gonna have a proper American brew and then we're gonna finish it up with some pizza. Oh, mate. That sounds good. You excited? I'm buzzing. All right, let's do this. It's probably got nothing to do with that vat of coffee and the six donuts I've just eaten, but uh, no. I'm ready to roll, man. You just You did that to yourself. <laughs> When I think America, I think big roads, and these are not big, are they? No, they're uh, they're fine. You know, these aren't the biggest roads that we have, obviously, but these are these are kind of nice town roads, obviously well traveled. But you know, I think that's what the Europeans do so well. You guys have a lot of respect. It's like a it's a privilege to drive over in Europe, and I think here it's a it's more of a right. <laughs> well, fair enough. It yeah. doesn't feel like that. It feels like there's not many cars on these roads. No, there isn't, but the roads are quite a bit bigger, and I'd say that the Europeans do do a lot with like a smaller space, like all of your town centers and everything. It's just, it's more conducive to bike riding. You guys have just tiny little roads, smaller cars, but this is America, and it is, uh, it is big. It's as big as my coffee was this morning. Yes, exactly. 
So here we are at the first of a couple of covered bridges that we're gonna hit on today's route. This one is the Eunice Williams covered bridge. Kind of a sad tale, actually, yeah. yeah. The uh, the French and the British were fighting Queen Anne's War. Right. You may know about that from your history yeah, classes. Yeah, when was it? It was in 1706. Okay. Unfortunately, Eunice was killed right here, and well, there is a tale that uh, this bridge is haunted by Eunice to this day. Whoa. Are you scared of, uh, do you have like superstition around like ghosts and things like that? The cruel and bloodthirsty savage who took her, slew her with his hatchet in one stroke. Reverend John Williams of Deerfield, the redeemed captive, so wrote of his wife, Mrs. Eunice Williams, who was killed at this place, March the 1st, 1704. Oh man, that is a sad story. Where's Jeremy going? Must be ahead. Isn't it amazing? Wow. It's so pretty, man. Is this our swimming spot? This is our swimming spot. The fish ladder here. You know that's how the fish get up. The what? Yeah, the fish go up, man. No, you're messing with me. No, I'm not messing with you. It's true, that's how they get up there. It's a, a fish ladder. fish ladder? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look it up. That sounds like tartan paint. <laughs> I'm not I can't for that hear one. you. There's this beautiful waterfall here. Do you see the fish over there? Come on, man. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that's so cool. It's so cool. Woo! This is so impressive. Isn't it Isn't awesome? It? Like when, when you're in there, it's like, I don't know, it's so intricate. Yeah. Fantastic. I know all the lattice work yeah. and everything. Yeah. This, was, um, this one was actually built, after I looked it all up, 1870 by a guy named uh, Ethel Town, I believe. Yeah. And um, he was widely regarded as America's first civil engineer. This was one of his first bridges, obviously, over the years of like storms and hurricanes and things like that. This has been torn down, but now is historically preserved, and as you can tell, it's in mint condition and is absolutely impeccable. Just like the blue sky, the red, everything. Honestly, it's just, it feels like I'm in a painting right now, doesn't it? Yeah. And we're gonna do some climbing now. Oh, are you ready? Yeah, all right, let's do it. Is your chamois really wet, dude? Yeah, it is, actually. We're about a third of the way into our adventure on the first of three big climbs. We've hit our most northerly point in Guilford, Vermont. After a quick dip and a steep climb, we'll descend back into the town of Coleraine, Massachusetts, where we'll hit the second big climb of today's ride. Yeah, man, now it's starting to get steep. Yeah. And you can see up here, we'll go around this turn, and it was like muddy this year, so they've got a lot of, tons of loose gravel stone that they throw down to try to kind of chunk up the, chunk it up, but also they'll throw rock and then dirt down to get a firmer base on this dirt so that it's, they don't have to come out here and pull cars out because they're stuck huh. in the mud. Even if you've got a, like a Subaru or something up here, it's just, uh, yeah, it's gonna be. You need a Ford, you need a big, an F-350, man. Uh, exactly. Okay. 450 American Stallions. You need, you need some clearance on those wheels. So that was the top of the second climb. How did the legs feel? I've been pretty fit up actually. <laughs> like, we've not got that many Ks on the clock, but we've worked for them, haven't we? And those climbs are hard, man. I know, they're steep. Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm leaking oil everywhere. 
<laughs> this is a beautiful descent though. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so this is our last one, the third one of the day. The Arthur A. Smith Bridge was made in 1869. Nice. Hey, nice lights, man. Yeah, really pretty inside, isn't it? Whoa. Different design than the others. Yeah. We finished up the second climb, which was almost four and a half miles long, and now we're gonna descend into the small village of Shelburne Falls. Whew. Yeah, dude. Oh, mate. <laughs> How good is this? I know. Here we are in the little village of Shelburne Falls. It is, this is super pretty. Yeah. McCusker's is on the corner. We're gonna grab a snack. We need We one. know, anyway. That one's called the West End Pub. Uh huh. We know. Uh, it's like 15 more miles. Okay. And, a, and another kind of hard climb, actually. Okay, all right. We'll yeah. go that way. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get there. And yeah, got the Bridge of Flowers. It's really pretty. I need a snack, man. I know. I'm sure you're hurting. I'm actually, my legs are a little jello myself. I'm not gonna lie. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Right, yeah. I'm toasted. Like really, like pretty, pretty tired. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah, my legs, like I said, they're hurting a little bit, but I'm I'm doing okay. It's it's beautiful here, you know? That's why we needed a little we needed a little cheese stop. I mean this isn't France or even the UK at the tea stop like we did with you. It's it's very civilized. I don't think I've ever stopped for cheese and crackers mid-ride before, if I'm yeah. if I'm honest. I like it. Uh, you've never been to Shelburne Falls before. No. Well, I'm not entirely sure about his root beer. Mm. Which your first time. It is, actually, yeah. And? <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's maybe an acquired taste, huh? Okay. Anyway, cheers. Uh, yeah, cheers. Here's to Shelburne Falls. Uh, hey, cheers to the root beer. And an amazing ride. Well, yeah. We've got like, I don't know, 45 minutes is what I'm gonna pin it at. Yeah? Yeah, about 45 minutes. It's gonna be about 15 <laughs> or more minutes of climbing. Okay. And then just beautiful vistas back into the town of Greenfield. We're gonna have a beer at Seymour Pub. Yeah? Yeah, it's cool. And then we're gonna get some pizzas at Magpie. Magpie, mm -hmm. yes. Seymour Pub and Magpie, sounds yeah. great. So we're not gonna fill up on cheese and crackers yet. I'm, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna get these cheese and crackers back on the climb. Like I'm gonna, <laughs> these are gonna come, these are gonna, these are gonna remind me. Extra value. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this cheese twice. <laughs> So how come this is called the Bridge of Flowers, Jeremy? This is the Bridge of Flowers. This is an old, thank you. This is an old uh, railway bridge that used to connect the, uh, the townspeople. It used to kind of ship over apples and cotton and different things. Um, yeah, way, way back in the day. And, and uh, yeah, it kind of went out of business and, and uh, they went bankrupt. One of the uh, local conservations bought it. Thank you. And, um, and now we have a beautiful Bridge of Flowers. Someone had an idea for the bankrupt bridge and that was to put flowers all over it. And it's as you can see, idea, it's that. become, yeah. It's I become, feel really sorry for the Bridge of Iron just next door. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not the Bridge of Flowers. This yeah. is the Bridge of Flowers. That's good American creativity, Cy. Something that's gone out and they needed to figure it out. And so they decided, you know what? We're gonna put flowers all over it. And look how pretty it is. Hey, it is beautiful, I see. Isn't it? It's, yeah, I'll give them that juice. Yeah, I mean, this is just like, it's really pretty. It'd it be a nice, really this is a nice place to hang out. All right, Sai, last climb, let's do it. Yeah, last one. Pizza and beer, here we come. <laughs> now we're not We just wanted to take a moment at the top, at the final climb of the day, because isn't it just incredible? Like, I mean, it's all been beautiful, but now we've got this kind of evening sunlight, 
Oh man, yeah. this is a special place, Jeremy. Thanks, yeah. It's very, really pretty, yeah. We've done a heck of a lot of climbing. It, my legs, my body, I feel like, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to be done. <laughs> and how about you? you it's, you're also a little jet lag. So. Yeah, yeah, it's currently one o'clock in the morning. This is the midnight <laughs> sun. Uh, no, I mean, you can't fall asleep, can you, when you're riding your bike on beautiful gravel roads. But what we've got in store, just one descent to go. That's right, one very pretty descent. Lots where you're just here on top of the world again, kind of coming down into Greenfield, where we're going to finish this thing up. Let's do Boom. it. Boom. Ra Show me the beer. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, cheers. Mate, that was fantastic. Yes. That was a ride and a half. Oh, that was a hard day, though. I'm not going to lie. That was, you know, I don't feel like I was in over my head, but that was a hard day, and I'm definitely... Are you ready for a drink? I'm definitely ready for a drink. Yeah, drink man. and pizza. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, man. That was like... It's a part of the world I probably never would have seen unless you'd invited us out here. Yeah. But I'm so glad because that's just some fantastic riding. Just like, just one of the most mellow days ever. Like those beautiful deciduous woods, fantastic rivers, beautiful houses dotted around the place, those little mm. meadows. Yeah. It's just what an amazing place to ride a push bike. I know, I know. I Thank you for coming and it was awesome. It was such a pretty, uh, yeah, such a pretty day too. Like the weather was absolutely perfect. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. Thank you. Come to another continent. Still drinking cider. And I'm not gonna lie, I think this might have the edge. Yeah. Over, uh, over the, over the, the West fat? Country cider, yeah. Yeah, okay. That, it was it was good, but yeah. Mm. Absolutely fantastic day. Yeah. Yeah. Just even for me, like only being 30 minutes south of here, just being able to come up here and do the dirt roads along the yeah, all along the river there and taking a swim. <laughs> Those climbs, yeah, the views, like it's not that we have such high elevation, it's just that the, the views when you're on top, it's like you're, look, you're on top of the world. It's a small world here in Western Massachusetts, but I don't know. I have to say, it's definitely way, way different than the UK and yeah. way more different than Exmoor. Yeah. But it is pretty cool in its own right, oh, I think. It's fantastic. Yeah. And well, you guys can expect a lot of videos coming from this neck of the woods. Now that Jeremy has obviously come on board. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what else you show us from around here. Okay. If you want to check out uh, the previous video where Jeremy came to the UK and, uh, and we tried to sample some UK gravel riding, which uh, was very different to here. Isn't was, it? Yeah, that was that was very that was close to mountain biking. Yeah, basically we just went mountain biking, which was super fun on and one of my top bikes. five rides of all time. Ah, well, there we go. Cool. Anyway, if you want to see that one, click on screen now. Cheers.